Hello everyone, it's Stephanie, your CSA coach, and it is week seven of our CSA shares. It's an A week. Um, it is also 4th of July week. So two quick announcements. Flower picking has started, so make sure you bring a vessel with you to put your flowers in. We do not allow glass into the fields, so do not bring glass. It's in your emails, I've mentioned it on the lives, Glass is not allowed in the field. So some sort of plastic container, um, an old milk jug or water jug meets a great vessel because it has a handle. Um, that's what I use and it's super easy to, to turn that into a flower picking jug. Also need shears. You can't tear the, the flowers and knives are not a good idea. So some sort of garden shears with you. If you have more than one person coming to pick, bring more than one set of shears. 4th of July pickup is this Thursday. So pickup will go on as usual, um, but will end at 6 p.m. so that our farmers have a break and can enjoy the holiday as well. So 1 to 6 p.m. on Thursday, but pickup as usual. Okay, jumping right into this week's shares. We do have pick your own flowers and also pick your own herbs. But then the, the pickup that we have this week, we have some repeat items and then lots of brand new items. So we have our salad mix. Our salad mix gets stored just like this in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Once you're ready to use it, I like to put it in a big, huge bowl of water or in the sink filled with water, swish it around, let it soak, rinse it off, um, and then throw it in my salad spinner to make it nice and dry great as a base to a salad. You can just simply dress it like this or add lots of other veggies and make it a more um, hearty salad. You can just use it as a side or um, add a protein to it and make it your main dish. So that's our salad greens. We have celery this week. Celery I store in a Debbie Meyer green bag because it's so large. Celery from the farm is slightly different than what you would buy at the um, grocery store. The entire thing is edible. So don't throw away the leaves. Don't just use the bottoms like you normally would um, from using from the grocery store. But celery is great added to like chicken salad, tuna salad. There's a couple of dishes on the blog. I know there's a celery soup. Um, you can chop up the entire thing of celery and just add it, even the leaves, and just add it to um, your salads. You can dry the leaves um, just like you would an herb. So lots of options there, but don't throw this away. It's amazing in soup. So if you're not ready to use it this week or the next week, you can chop it up and freeze it and then add it to your soups. Um, but really, really good. Um, not sure what I'm using mine for yet, but probably a chicken salad since we're going to try to stay out of the kitchen for the next few days um, with the holiday coming up. So celery stored in the fridge. We have Swiss chard. I'm pretty sure this is the first we're seeing of this. It's rainbow chard, so I love the stems. Um, this acts as a green, so stored in the fridge just like we would any of our other greens, stored in a Debbie Meyer green bag. Um, you can saute it. So use the recipe for simple sauteed greens or the PDF that I created for simple sauteed greens. The stems, I'm pretty sure it's last year that I made a pickled chard stem recipe, which is fun because of all the different colors of the stems. But you want to separate the stems from the leaves when you're cooking it. The stems take a little bit longer because they're thicker, so cook those first and then um, cook the leaves but simply sauteed as a side dish, um, pairs really well with eggs. So if you're making breakfast for dinner or if you're making a, a little bit of a more elaborate breakfast, this will go really well. Um, you can chop it up and do it in like a frittata or a quiche also. All of our greens can be used for green cubes also. So follow that PDF if you're not sure how to use them or just um, want something different to do with the greens. We still have cucumbers. Cucumbers get stored in the crisper drawer of the fridge. Um, 
We love just eating these raw. So chop them up and eat them as a side. Um, you can sprinkle a little sea salt on them, brings out a little bit of their flavor. You could make a cucumber salad. You could do pickles. So we've been seeing a couple different people try pickles on the blog or on our Facebook group. Um, so you could try that as well. You can do, if you still have dill left over, you could do the dill dip. And these um, are really good to use for the dill dip. We have Kirby's and slicing cucumbers. So two different varieties plus the green or the um, yellow cucumber. All stored the same way, all used the same way. So they can also just be chopped on top of a salad as well. We have summer squash, a couple different varieties of summer squash. These get stored the same as our cucumbers, so store them in the fridge in your crisper drawer um, until you're ready to use them. I am using them for a chili, so I'm gonna shred them up and make a big batch of chili for 4th of July. Um, I like to put as many veggies as I can in the chili um, so that it's just one big huge meal and easy to serve. Um, these can also just be shredded and thrown in the freezer to preserve. So I usually shred them, measure about two cups, throw it in a Ziploc bag, and then throw that in the, fri or the freezer and then pull that out whenever I'm gonna use it in baked goods or use it for chili throughout the winter. Um, these can be grilled. So if you're grilling for the holiday, slice them up, grill them. Great in sheet pan meals. So lots of vegetables that would work really well in a sheet pan meal. So those are our zucchini. Also great in fritters. If you haven't tried the fritter recipe, those can be used in our fritter recipe. We have our spring onions. Um, so these are spring sweet onions. They are not cured, so they actually get stored in the fridge. Once they're cured, any of our onions and potatoes, then they get stored in a cold, dry place, but they're not cured. So we store them in the fridge right now. Um, onions, sweet onions, any variety of onions can be interchanged, just a slightly different uh, flavor. So these would pair really well with our cucumbers for a cucumber salad um, for the holiday. You can grill them. So I actually would probably slice them in half and do a nice sear on the one side, flip them and do the other side and serve them as a side. Um, if you're cooking steak or something like that, it would be really good. The entire onion can actually be used. So your top portion is more like a scallion. So you can chop them up, throw them in stir fries, throw them um, on top of salads. And the bottom is just like a regular onion bulb, but stored in the fridge in a Debbie Meyer green bag or a Ziploc bag. Okay, we have new potatoes. So new potatoes, I've used these a couple different times already this season. They were used in our um, fritter recipe. And also if you have not tried last week's recipe, the potato wraps, they were amazing. Um, that was potato based, obviously why it's called a potato wrap. So try that. Um, they served as a vessel, we used them both for um, I think we made smash burgers the one night and then um, the next morning we used them for breakfast tacos. So lots of variety there of what you can use the potato wraps for. These are on cured. So just like our onions, they're gonna get stored in the fridge. Um, they will not last as long as regular potatoes. Um, they tend not to last the full week in our house because I always find a use for them. You could make potato salad, so obviously really good for the holiday. You could pair this with our celery for a yummy potato salad. Throw, if you get the egg share, throw some hard boiled eggs in there. Also, you could do a more, a different recipe um, rather than mayonnaise based potato salad. You could try, there's lots of other recipes where it has like fresh herbs and more of like a vinaigrette as the dressing. So try those. Um, you can just add them to sheet pan meals. You can throw them on the grill. Um, so slice them long ways so that they're thicker and fit on your grill and you can grill them like that. French fries, um, what else? You can even do like a mashed potato. So those are our new potatoes. We have eggplant. Egg, eggplant gets stored in the fridge. I usually wrap it in a paper towel or a dish towel to kind of keep the moisture away from it and then throw it into a bag in the fridge. Um, eggplant can be grilled, it can be roasted, it can be thrown onto our sheet pan meals, it can be um, thrown onto our veggie, roasted veggies. 
If you do a big batch of roasted veggies, we have the summer squash, we have um, beets, we have the onions, we have the eggplants. So you can throw all of that onto one big sheet pan. I love to fry the eggplant. I do it in my air fryer. So I dip it in egg, throw some gluten-free um, breadcrumbs on it, and then fry them. Even if I, I often serve them just like that as a fried eggplant on the side, um, or I turn it into eggplant parmesan down the road. So I throw them in the freezer um, and save them once I get a bunch of different, we have a large family, so I need to, a big batch to make a big batch of eggplant parm. But really good in a variety of different ways. There's also, I'm pretty sure there's an eggplant dip on the blog that would be an amazing addition to the holiday, um, the holiday menu. Okay, cabbage. Cabbage gets stored in the fridge. This will last a while, so throw it in your crisper drawer. Once you cut it, you do want it in a Ziploc bag or a Debbie Meyer green bag. Um, cabbage can be eaten raw, um, would be great for a coleslaw for the holiday. Um, you could pair it with your sweet onions, maybe a few carrots if you have them on hand and make it into a coleslaw. You can just shred it and throw it on top of um, salad. You could use the leaves as a vessel, so you can make like an egg salad and instead of using lettuce, you can use your cabbage leaves. You can actually do a quick blanch if you want them a little bit more nimble. Um, and you can also cook it. So you can roast cabbage and you can grill cabbage. We have beets, either these are the golden variety, but either we have golden or the red. Um, very first thing you wanna do is remove the greens from the top store them separately. They can be used just like any other grain. Then the bottoms, the bulbs, we want to, you can either eat them raw, you can roast them, you can grill them, you can boil them, you can pickle them. Um, so lots of varieties there. I know I have pickled beets to wheeze. I'm pretty sure I have a beet slaw somewhere on the recipes and I'm working on another beet recipe that you might see over the course of the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Um, but beets make a great addition to any salad. If you're looking to just preserve them, the best way to preserve them is pickling them. We have tomatoes for the first time. So this is a nice treat. Tomatoes have shown up earlier because of the weather. Um, tomatoes are best stored on the counter. So don't store them in the fridge unless you slice them. Once you slice them, you should use them, store them in the fridge in between but use them within a day. Um, they're best stored on the countertop. They obviously can be used for salads. They can be used on burgers. They can be chopped up and turned into a salsa. They can be simply sliced and used on sandwiches. Um, lots of ways to use tomatoes. I don't think anyone has any problems with them. Um, you can also turn them into sauce. So if you wanna make a small batch of sauce with the tomatoes that you got this week, you could do that also. Last but not least, we have basil. So we're seeing this for the first time in our CSA shares on week seven. Um, basil is one of the herbs that does not like to be cold. So you wanna put this in a glass of water, like a tiny glass of water, store it on the counter. Um, make sure that water doesn't evaporate. So every couple of days, make sure you still have water in that glass and then use the basil as needed. Amazing for pestos, amazing for salad dressings. Um, just as added to a garnish, added to sauces. Basil is just awesome. Um, added to pretty much anything. So we'll be seeing basil probably for a few weeks now, but stay tuned. I think we're gonna work on using this this week. Um, basil pairs really well with our tomatoes. So you could just do a simple, you could do a caprese salad grab some mozzarella, some fresh mozzarella, do the tomatoes and the basil um, on that as well. So lots of options there for basil. Take a look at what you have from last week, focus on using up that first, and then the very first thing you're going to wanna use this week is probably our salad greens, um, our salad mix. So figure out where you're gonna fit that into what you're making this week and use that up first. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you tag me. I won't be on social media much throughout this next few days because of the holiday. So please make sure you tag me so that I see it. Um, any recipes that you know you're making for the holidays, 
post them on our Facebook group so everyone sees them and we can share ideas. Happy 4th, and I will see you all again next week.